Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today's a big one. Hurt from Hoonigan. I don't know how we missed Hurt. There's like, I thought we had like reacted to a lot of like the biggest drivers and influencers and stuff in drifting. I thought we'd hit most of them, but we had not done Hurt yet. He's like a legend. I mean, he's been drifting longer than I have. I remember watching this first video we're gonna watch. I actually remember watching like right before I got into drifting and I just thought it was so freaking cool. So I wanted to start out with that video because it's, it's special to me and I just think it's a really sick video. So it's a Hoonigan video. It's Bash Bangers, part five, All-Star Bash 2013. Cool thing is I actually have been to All-Star Bash now and so it's kind of come full circle. Yeah, so, <laughs> This is when, like, this car is like legendary, you guys. I'm sure many of you watch Hoonigan and, and are very aware of Hurt, but like, this is when he had the LS in it, RX-7, like it had sticker bomb side skirt, the freaking blast pipes in the back. All right, let's see a little, little in car, hopefully. There we go. He's honestly kind of a maniac behind the wheel. This is like an older one too, so obviously he's gotten a lot more drive time since then. I think this is nine years old now or eight years old. A little dirt drop. He, I gotta give it to him though. He like, even then he was freaking aggressive. Like he was just full send, having a freaking good time. And the cool thing about Hurt is he's not a competitive driver. Like he's never claimed that. He is just all about freaking having fun and enjoying all that is drifting and burnouts and custom cars. What just fell off his car? What was all right, so I thought that was a cool way to start it off, but obviously, um, Hurt is a huge part of Hoonigan. I mean, he's, he loves pizza, he loves rotaries now, RX-7s. I thought this video was really cool though. He actually went to Poland, um, and I, I don't know the whole background, but these guys like built him a car to come out and shred with them. I thought it was kind of something different because this is him in a BMW, and like, for me, I always knew him as just driving that RX-7. It's like all I ever saw him in. Obviously today he has some other cars and stuff like that, but. This thing's pretty sick. And it, I feel like it's his style. I don't think he built it. I think they built it for him. This is also like a couple months later. Like I'm not doing the whole chronological thing with her just cause he's been around for so long. But this is a couple months later or maybe even half a year later than, no, sorry. This is like five years later than the All-Star Bash, so. What? A little quick little hammer. Like he actually almost looks smoother in this car than the RX-7 that we just watched it, and it was five years ago, so. The one thing I will say I've always noticed with Hertz driving, and he's definitely like improved, but he's just so wild behind the wheel, like not necessarily in a good way. He's just like all freaking crazy with the steering wheel, handbrake, like hands are all over the place. I feel like sometimes I wish I could just tell him like, dude, just chill, take a deep breath. Woosah, like you're good, you're driving fine, just, just. <laughs> Okay, then apparently you guys bullied him about the LS and the RX-7 and so he felt the need to put a rotary back in it. Unbelievable, you guys. Yeah, so there's the V8, 2014 and 2016. Just banging rev dude. Shift up. <laughs> Maniac. The one thing I will say, like, he's definitely, like, grassroots and, like, street style and so his cars are, have always been set up like super super loose so i think a lot of times it's just banging rev limiter because he just doesn't have that much grip in his cars um which is just i don't know it's the style i guess all right here we go i do have to say this version is pretty damn sick i wish he could have like kept the og like twerk stallion and then just built like a whole new rx7 but obviously that's way more work and money Pretty sick now. <laughs> God dang it. Ah, oh, I need a rotary car. I got Jay Z, RB. I got a whole ass RX8 that's blown up. You want it, you can just. You just want to throw the motor in. <laughs> Alright, so I thought this would be kind of cool because we can see, like, it's a really clear vision of, like, what how he drives, his driving style, all that. So nice, like, okay, check that out, guys. Like, he obviously could have gone faster and stuff, but he's not trying to impress anybody, he's having fun. But it, look, it was a nice little flick, a little faint entry. Did pull some handbrake there, but that's okay. Nice, brought her out wide. Is he already losing some of his body kit? <laughs> to me, like, he looks 
better here, definitely, than... Still, you can see in a steering wheel, though, like... See that? And they're, like, they're adjustments, but there's really, right there, there's no reason he should be adjusting that much, you know? He, like, has the skill, and everything's there, like, the footwork actually looks pretty decent. It's just, like... Okay, so I thought it'd be kind of cool because he, he has built like a lot more cars now, especially in recent times. Now he has a 2JZ GS300. That thing's pretty hard. That sounds pretty good too. I mean, it's not, it's not as good as an RB. But. He's just doing a lot in there. So like back, yeah, back to hurt, like just moving around so much. <laughs> like the way the steering wheel and stuff. He ha like he has the skill. I'm not hating. Do not think this is a hate video. Well, look at his mirror. What is going on? All right. Last but not least, I thought it would be sick to look at his Instagram. Try to find some just little fun clips on here. See if I can get some more POV stuff too. Oh, this is throwback. Limiter. <laughs> oh, and then he's got an A86. I forgot about this. Like, that's what I'm talking about. He has so many different cars now, and I think it really helps you grow as a driver tremendously. So I feel like that's part, if I had to like pick something, I don't know if it's more seat time, but also just having and getting to drive all these different types of setups. I think he's learning a lot. Because before, I think he only had the RX7 LS. So it's like, he only knew, you know, one, one thing. Also, a bunch of you guys tagged me in this video and sent it to me, so I figured I'd show you show it on here. That is pretty freaking sweet. Let him get up in there. Let's go, Hurt. Yeah, I like this. He is looking so much more dialed here. Look at that. He was up in there. He actually thought about using the handbrake and then he came back off of it. He's like, he, he seems to be getting a lot more confidence. Like he's less afraid in the chase there. Also, this is the S13, I think. So maybe he like doesn't care about it as much. I don't know. Or he's not as afraid to like hit stuff. Even here too, look at him get up in there. Dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Obviously there's still some people that we missed. So comment them below. Make sure you look at our Pro Drifter Reacts playlist. Look at all the other drivers we've checked out. I really enjoy doing these videos. So yeah, if you guys got anybody that you want us to react to, let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to check out our merch, HogganRacing.com. And let me know, do you guys want crew suits? Anyways, hope you'll subscribe, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.